Okay, well, it's been a while since I've been able to do this due to technical troubles, which seem to annoy me every few months. Uh, but I'm back now, it's back, my computer's back working now eventually. Uh, so hopefully I can actually get on with things. Uh, first of all, obviously I have to um, express my sincerest condolences to the family and friends of Mexican Lucha Libre star Pero Aguayo Jr. Also, this has been a major story in professional wrestling over the last few days. I'm not going to go into the details of exactly what happened, because even though I've, I've seen a few bit, pieces of video, obviously lots of fans video off their mobile phones or camera these days at wrestling events. We don't know what happened. I'm sure we'll get an official report and, and there's an investigation going on. Uh, I believe a funeral is actually being held today uh, after, of course, they held a post-mortem. This was just, to be honest, a tragic situation. Uh, it really, it's just an, 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 a real tragic accident. Uh, you know, it is just such a shame. It was th just 35 years old. Uh, he has passed away. He was, for those who may not know, he was genuinely a huge star in Mexico. Uh, part of the Paris de Mal uh, group, which kind of like NWO kind of group, a uh, real uh, heelish. Uh, aggressive, violent group. Uh, it's sad because it comes just about a year or so after the passing of Hector Garza, uh, who was another member and a good friend of Pedro Aguayo Jr. Uh, he passed away from cancer. Uh, it's just a very, very tragic situation. Uh, so my sincere condolences to his family and friends. Now, uh, just a couple of things. Uh, Rey Mysterio, who uh, was involved in that tag team match, uh, where the tragedy occurred, he will be uh, still taking part in the event Wally Mania. It's held by Major League Wrestling. I've, heard, I've talked about them before. Uh, they're a professional wrestling podcast kind of network. We've got like so Kevin Sullivan, Conan, uh, John Paul, MSL, Court Bauer, and uh, a lot of uh, guests come on there as well. Uh, they do various podcasts. Uh, MLWradio.com, again, I've talk, spoken about them many times. Uh, I think it's like something like the 26th of March in California. They're doing a special event. Wally, uh, who I believe is an American kind of rap artist, is performing, and they will be doing a sit-down interview, including taking questions from fans with Ray Mysterio. Now, also, we don't know what Ray is going to talk about, uh, what the questions he's going to ask be asked. Um, even if he doesn't go into why he left WWE or the exact circumstances, uh, obviously depending on what he legally can talk about, I think it will be great to hear him talk about his life, his career. We've seen a couple of DVDs from WWE about him, but I think it's going to be great to get a chance to hear Rey Mysterio. Uh, they do say it will be recorded for a podcast, so hopefully that will be uploaded uh, not too long after. Uh, the event happens, obviously you know, it's not going to be exactly that night, but hopefully that in a couple of days afterwards it will be uploaded so we all can hear what exactly went on, what questions he uh, was asked and what his answers were. So that should be a very good podcast, looking forward to it. Now obviously we are coming up WrestleMania, it is such a huge time for wrestling fans. Again, annoyingly I am limited to 15 minutes on YouTube right now. Um, which is why I've actually set, uh, set up a podcast. Uh, it, you can find it on Podomatic, P-O-D-O-M-A-T-I-C. Just search for the Neil Malone podcast, same name, uh, obviously, as my YouTube channel, uh, N-E-I-L-M-A-L-O-N-E. -E. You know, I, I used to have another name on uh, here on YouTube, but I decided just to use my real name uh, because of some pattern trolls and some of the trolls, you know, some of these idiots going around uh, at that time, and I decided uh, when YouTube uh, offered the chance to make it, uh, you know, for people to make their channels under their real names, I decided, you know what, just take it, uh, to, just to do it. it. Used to be Ginger Dundee SEO, and I think that's still my URL for my YouTube channel. I decided just to make it new, all new on, so whatever happened, nobody can come along and try and claim anything uh, like that. So it's on the new one podcast. There's only about four episodes. Uh, up so far, they don't sound exactly hugely great because uh, uh, because of technical difficulties. 
um, on my computer and so forth. I was recording it on my dictaphone. I put I think the first one or so up uh, with my own computer. It was kind of like a test one, uh, an introduction one. But you know, unfortunately, with having to use uh, somebody else's computer, I couldn't really adjust it and edit it the way I want to. Uh, so I downloaded a, one of those free audio editing software. So hopefully, um, hopefully it's a decent one so I can go and edit, make the presentation a little bit better, uh, and you know. Over the next few podcasts, try and make it sound a little bit better because it's a little bit um and on. But you can find it there. Also on Podomatic, though. Also on Podomatic, and I know they made a little bit of a joke about how I said this. And this is my friend, so it's all right. But they made a little bit of a joke about how I said it. But you can find a decent, a good uh, wrestling podcast called Bell to Bell. It's, so it's Bell, the number two, and then Bell. So it's Bell to Bell. Uh, also on Podomatic and on iTunes, you can subscribe on, on iTunes, it's all free, uh, of course, uh, on iTunes. It's my friend Chris Duke, Charles Phoenix and Dr. Gru, uh, they talk wrestling, they have two interviews in the books so far, episode one, ahead of his uh, tour here in the UK this coming May, it's 16 time world champion Ric Flair. That's a huge interview for the first podcast. Used to be on national radio, but unfortunately with Chris Duke leaving stations due to contracts uh, and due to various things, uh, and due to, you know, um, just going, you know, being, uh, wanting to do different thing, jobs and so forth, uh, he's left uh, various things. You know, he's only really there temporarily for a contract anyway, uh, but due to them, him leaving the, uh, the national uh, radio station, uh, is now a standalone podcast again, Podomatic, and on iTunes, Bell to Bell. The second interview that they have is on episode five. Six episodes are up so far. Episode five features a great interview with the Heartbreak Kid, Sean Michaels. Sean Michaels obviously talking about his new book, uh, talking about uh, and his book about his faith, how that has affected his life and his career. Obviously, he became a born again Christian. Uh, in late, I think it was 1999 or thereabouts, after he left WWE uh, after WrestleMania 14 due to a serious back injury. Um, you know, I, I don't know what his, I've not read his second book yet. Um, I think seriously thinking about uh, ordering it online when I have some money. Uh, I enjoyed the first book, Heart, Heartbreak and Triumph. I know it's available still in some stores. I actually saw a copy on uh, in a local W Smith store today, uh, where I was checking out what sports books they have, and, you know, I'm sure any Shawn Michaels fan will want to actually get it, check that out, obviously. Uh, one of the most respected WWE Hall of Famers, one of the most respected performers uh, that WWE have had, so, uh, it's a good interview, check out Bell to Bell on Podomatic, and again, the Neil Malone podcast on uh, iTunes. Uh, also, a couple of um, what I've uh, set up, I can't remember whether I mentioned this before I, uh, before uh, my technical difficulties. I've also set up a blog on WordPress. It's uh, Niels Cairns, N E I L S C A I R N S. Um, there were a, couple, a few entries up there, um, an introduction one. There's me talking about the week of me being on Piper's Pit and SummerSlam 2012. Uh, there's a couple. There's a couple up there. Other ones up there as well. I was in almost. Um, like, I was almost finished one, including one about uh, the safety. Actually, the safety of wrestling um, and a couple of points about getting proper training and so forth uh, before my computer crashed. So uh, no, unfortunately, I lost them, but. Uh, I'll still be working on later this week, uh, working on putting stuff up there. Uh, I'm not going to make on the blog and the podcast. I'm not just going to be talking about professional wrestling. I'll put up um, uh, p- posts, uh, podcasts about other things as well, not just pro wrestling. So as always, I talk about on this channel uh, is about professional wrestling. I want to put up uh, other podcasts and blogs. Uh, on Podomatic and WordPress 
talking about other subjects as well, but it's just something to keep trying to keep my mind while you well, know, I'm looking for a job and totally try and keep them going as well. Like I said, I'm very much limited to 15 minutes, unfortunately, on, on YouTube for the next several months until uh, nearly the end of August. But, um, listen to them if you want. There's uh, four episodes of the podcast up and about, I think, the same, about the same amount of uh, blogs that you can find on WordPress. Uh, Podomatic, you can actually download them so you don't, you're not, uh, you can listen to them on web MP3 devices or so forth that you want. Uh, I'm going to. I'm working on the presentation on because I think I did the first one uh, on my own computer. I think the second one as well, a little bit as well. But they were kind of like initial ones. Uh, and unfortunately, computer class and using somebody else's computer, I'm not being able to edit it the way I like. So I wanted to actually. You know, I've got a, a, an audio editor. Uh, that I've downloaded now and I want to kind of make the presentation a little bit better, so we need to work on that uh, very shortly to try and make it sound a little bit better. Still, they are a little bit um and ah uh and tripping over my words and so forth, but uh, it's an ongoing thing. Uh, I'll certainly be keeping it going uh, after, even when I run a little bit of time on, uh, on YouTube. Who knows, I might even, um, if, I, if I've got, I think, a decent enough uh, YouTube show, I might download it take the audio and put it up as a podcast. Who knows? I might, um, you know, I might in, you know, have them in to interact, depending on what, you know, obviously, I would be his job, looking for jobs and so forth, depending on how I can, uh, uh, you know, depending on what opportunities are there, what I, I think about doing, um, what I can do. So, if I do get uh, an opportunity, very quickly before I go, I, w- I said Podomatic for my podcast and WordPress for my blog, Neil Cairns, uh, and Neil, the Neil Malone podcast on Podomatic. Um, a couple of some good things happening later this year. Um, I'm meeting some good guys. I've been uh, on my podcast. You can actually listen to my review of the this recent Discovery Wrestling show. Fourteenth, that was the fourteenth of March. That show uh, at the Crags Community Centre. They're actually going to host the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson. Uh, on April 10th at the Royston Wardyburn Community Centre. Uh, uh, you can find tickets there at ticketwolf.co.uk. They've had two shows so far. I know the guys running the show. Um, and they're absolutely great guys. So, you know, it's going to be a really good show. And also, well, uh, being there is going to be former TNA World Champion, X Division Champion, Tag Team Champion, Chris Saban, who won his semi-final uh, tournament on the 14th to get through to the final uh, to uh, crown the inaugural Y Division champion. He will be facing a hot, hot, hot prospect in Scottish wrestling by the name of Lewis Gervan in that final on April 10th. So the Young Bucks and Chris Saban, Royston Wardyburn uh, Community Centre, April 10th. Ticketwolf.co.uk, T-I-C-K-E-T-W-O-L-F.co.uk for tickets for uh, that show. They've also announced a May show as well. I don't know how many of these I'm going to get to, uh, because it's all the way in Edinburgh. Uh, it's only about an hour's drive, but it's, it's the expense, unfortunately. Um, and I, you know, actually they're not, I might have to get the bus sometimes, and it may just not be doable financially. But it's going to be great. And Scottish Wrestling Entertainment, who are hosting their next show, on uh, March 28th, they're hosting the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, and Terry Funk for their Hell for Like uh, uh, show on August 29th at the Caird Hall in Dundee, as previously reported on this very YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. As I said, I'm in a limit, so I'm going to have to check tap out here. Uh, but check out the Neil Malone podcast on Podomatic. This coming week, I'll have a WrestleMania preview. The following week, I'll do a full WrestleMania review. I won't be able to make a WrestleMania party, but I can guarantee I will sit and watch WrestleMania and give my thoughts, my views, my opinions, and even this week, I will pick who I think will, should, or might win the matches at Levi Stadium at WrestleMania 31.